Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Dee. I am a Saint Beauty artist and a lover of all things beauty. So here on my channel, I do a variety of different things. It's mostly just Saint Beauty products, DIY lashes, and then anything skincare, beauty, makeup related, I'm all into it. I absolutely love makeup. So <laughs> that is what my channel is made up of. So for those of you who are normally or used to watching my videos, I did kind of spin everything around because I do have some really good lighting coming in through this window. It's a little bit bright, so that's why I'm squinting my eyes, but I felt like it was the best lighting to kind of see my face and what I'm working with and do the video of how I, or how you can achieve a flawless complexion. So you can see here, I've got a lot of redness. I have been using a new retinol product and I think my skin is just a little bit inflamed, but you can see here, like I've got speckled redness all through. I have done all my skincare. I took a shower, did my skincare, um, and now it's just kind of like, I can feel it a little bit burning. So that's what I've got working with. So I'm gonna show you how I can cover up all this redness, get a really good flawless complexion that looks natural, that's not cakey, and it's going to look like my skin. So what I'm gonna kind of go through today is the Saint Compact. So this is everything that I need all in one compact. And the best thing about it is it's 100% customizable. So obviously you can see here, I've got several colors. I've got different things going on. You do not have to have something this detailed or this much. You can just have your foundation color um, and your bronzer and contour and that's it. So you 100% customize it. But if you want the whole shebang, then obviously here it is. So I'm gonna go through and kind of show you what I do to cover up this redness, cover up my dark eye circles and get that flawless complexion. Now, I do, after skincare, priming is really, really important. I use the Jaclyn Hill, I think this is the Skin Protect, wait, what is this? Skin Perfecting Oil Primer. I've talked about this at nauseum on my channel if you've watched it before. I absolutely love this. If you have dry skin, I cannot recommend a better product to give you that glowy, hydrated look than the skin oil. And then I go in, because I'm extra, I go in with the Mary Kay Foundation Primer and I put it on top of those glow or the oil just because I like, it has almost a silicone feel to it. It doesn't have silicone in it, but it has almost that texture with it. And I just find that those two paired together give me my perfect primed canvas but you absolutely do not have to have two primers in order to achieve this, I'm just extra. Um, the one thing I do wanna say is if you are using the Saint system, you do not want to use any primer that has silicone in it or any other products with silicone because it will break down this, the Saint makeup, um, and it will just, it, it will break it down. So you won't get the, the flawless complexion that you're looking for. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with my, this is a blend brush. And I'm gonna go in with this color right here. This is a highlight color called Mango. So obviously it's for somebody who's much darker than me, but it has kind of an or orangey complexion to it. And I have found that this is awesome for my dark eye circles. Now I have been battling, um, trying to naturally get rid of my dark eye circles. I did just recently complete a three month session of PRF. And so I have noticed so much better improvement in my under eye circles just because I have like more collagen, like that area was just kind of breaking down. And so your under eye, I can't speak this morning, like maybe I need a little bit more coffee. But your under eye skin is so thin, it's translucent. And because I, I mean, my skin, I'm like, I'm white as anything. I have like literally no pigment. My skin has not seen the sun in a long time. Um, so it's almost like this translucent color. So you can see every single vein and all that stuff. And the PRF has really helped with that. So then I just take a Real Techniques Beauty Blender and I'm just kind of blending it out and making sure that there's no harsh lines and that it's there. Next, I'm gonna go in with another foundation color or highlight color, and this is called June. And there's two different things. If you have redness like me, there's two different colors that are recommended to kind of color correct the redness. It's June and then it's Aspen. And Aspen is a contour color. I've tried Aspen in the past and I don't like the way that it looks on my skin. I feel like June 
does a better job of color correcting, but that's where I come in helping you if you have redness that you want to cover up, I can recommend one or the other so you don't have to buy one and it not work. There's a great return policy, even if I don't get it right, but I can help you kind of troubleshoot that. Now, I always recommend for those of us girls who have fair skin and redness, I always recommend that you start out with a highlight and you don't buy a color corrector just because you might notice that the highlight color that I recommend may cover it up. So I always think less is more. I don't want you to buy something that you don't actually need. So I make the recommendation of, hey, just go ahead and buy the highlight color. Try it out. If you feel like you need more coverage or you need more color correcting, go ahead and throw in that color corrector or reach out to me and I can recommend a color corrector. But I don't want you to have to buy something that you don't necessarily need. So this is a method I've been doing for a while just because I don't have time in the morning to really go through like a full coverage look. So I go in and this is the color, my contour color, this is the color Ash. And I'm just using this smear method. You might see like the cheetah hack method where there's dots all over the skin. Um, there's a variety of different things. I just like the smear because I feel like it, it's quick. I always keep a towel here just to rub off my, my hands. So next I'm gonna go in with my main highlight color. So this is what would be my foundation and you know other brands or whatever, this is what we call the foundation. So I'm just gonna put it on all the areas that obviously I don't have that contour color. And then I'm gonna go in with my bronzer. And so my bronzer right here is called Bella. I don't know what the heck I have in my thing. I really, really need to clean my compact. And I'm just gonna put it on the areas where I would normally put my bronzer. And the whole purpose of bronzer is it's going to warm up your face where the contour is gonna create shadows in that dimension. So I have everything here. I look like a hot mess, but... I'm gonna take mine. This is a setting spray, Dewy Coconut Setting Mist by e.l.f. And full disclosure, this is not my favorite one. I actually prefer the Milani one. And this is what I've got. So next I'm gonna take my 3D foundation brush and I'm going to blend out starting with the lightest color. So I'm just kind of doing this like pushing packing method where I'm smearing a little bit, but not too much. I really wanna focus in on moving that product and kind of pushing it into my skin. So if you just kind of do smear all over, it's just gonna kind of move it where I just really wanna get it to where it's kind of going into my skin. And here, I'll pull it down. Now, this brush right here that I am using is, like I said, the 3D foundation brush. I like this brush because, and this is the one that I recommend, because you can do so much with it. This is the brush that I use to do my contour and you can do your bronzer with it if you wanna do it separate, not like what I'm doing right now. Um, you can do your blush color with it. You can just do a whole variety of things with this one brush. You can even, if you need more coverage, you can go in and it's a perfect brush angle to go in and get more coverage under your eyes. So this is the brush that I always recommend. If you do a color match, this is the brush that I'm going to recommend just starting out because I think it's the most versatile and you can do everything. Now, again, I always just recommend that one, but I do have a whole video here about all the different brushes. So I will link that below. If you are somebody who already has the Saint system and you're looking to add brushes, I definitely recommend that you check that one out because it kind of goes through like the pros and cons on what I like to use with them. And each brush has a different finish. So this is everything. I'm gonna take this down a little bit more because I feel like my neck. I'm wearing a turtleneck. Usually I bronze my neck just to kind of make it a little bit of the same color but um, cause my face is a little bit darker just naturally than my neck for whatever reason. But I think a lot of that is just the redness. So I do like to pull it down just a little bit, but usually I will bronze my neck just to, like I said, warm it up a little bit, but I'm going to be wearing a turtleneck today because it is freezing cold outside here in Texas. 
and um, I'm just gonna be wearing a turtleneck. So I always like to come back and show you guys the final look because I feel like right here, like you can see everything. Um, I'm gonna do my blush and all that stuff so you can see that like flush of, flush of color. But I feel like with my hair up like this um, and without my eye makeup and all that stuff, like it just looks funny. It doesn't look complete. And sometimes when I look at videos and I'm like, okay, well your face looks okay, but everything else is kind of out of whack. So I'm gonna come back and show you what it looks like when I do my eyebrows, when I do the rest of my makeup. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm coming back. I have completed my eye look and my mascara and everything and just wanted to come back and show you the finalized look because I feel like everything together you can really see okay this is the coverage this is what it looks like this is what it looks like together i did my cheek color um and yeah i just love the fact that it's glowing it looks natural you can still see things that poke through but it's still flawless it looks timeless it looks like i have healthy glowing skin and not a dry desert like i normally do so Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Please leave your questions down below. If you were interested in getting a free color match, I will leave the job form down below. All you have to do is fill it out and then send me a couple pictures in a bright light like this um, without makeup. And then I can customize or recommend some colors that are customized to you. And if there's certain things that you're battling, definitely let me know and I can make some suggestions there. But hopefully you enjoyed the video. Until next time, bye.